Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about trig integrals, specifically the case where one or both of the sine and cosine functions are odd degrees. So an example of this would be the integral of sine squared x times cosine cubed x dx. As you can see, the cosine term is cubed, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to choose the lowest odd degree sine or cosine term. In this case, this one, and we're going to break off one of the cosines. So it's going to look like this. Sine squared x times cosine x times cosine squared x dx. The reason why we're breaking off one of the cosines is because now we're gonna do a u substitution for the sine. But before we do that u substitution, I don't like the cosine squared, and I'm going to rewrite it back in terms of sines. To do that, we use a Pythagorean identity, specifically the one that says cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x, and that's what I'm going to write for the next step. I'm going to write sine squared x times, I'm going to move up this 1 minus sine squared. So it's like this. I just moved it from here at the end to in the middle, and now the cosine x is going at the end because I don't care about it so much. So it gets at the end. And now I'm gonna do a u substitution for the sine. If I want to, I can actually distribute this first. I do recommend doing that. So it's actually sine squared x minus sine to the fourth x, close parenthesis, and then all of that is times cosine x dx. And now we can do a u substitution for the sine x. I'm assuming you're already good at u substitutions. So you'd get du equals cosine x dx and dx ends up being du over cosine x. The fact that the cosine x is in the denominator means it will cancel when I plug it back in for the integral. And just like that, I have the integral of quantity u squared minus u to the fourth, close parenthesis, times cosine x, times dx got replaced with du over cosine x. So the cosines cancel, and I just have integral of u squared minus u to the fourth, du. From here, this is just a simple integral, power rule. So it's going to be u cubed over 3 minus u to the fifth over 5 plus c. And then the last step is plugging back in. We said u was sine x. So that means it's going to be sine cubed x over 3 minus sine to the fifth x over 5 plus c. And there is our final answer. So hopefully that one made sense. We've got a couple more that we're gonna be looking at today. The next one I wanna look at is the integral of sine to the fifth of x dx. You'll notice for this one, first of all, it's an odd degree, obviously, but there's not even a cosine to choose. So definitely I'm gonna start with this sine x and I'm gonna break off a sine x. So now I have sine to the fourth x times sine x dx. And just like the last one, if you break off a sine x, you're gonna choose cosine for your u substitution. The problem is I don't have any cosines right now. That's why I gotta break up this sine to the fourth, and I'm gonna write it as one minus cosine squared x squared. Why am I doing this? Well, I kinda of skipped a step. I'm saying that sine to the fourth x is sine squared x squared. Don't believe me, check it out. Squared squared becomes fourth. And then this, is one minus cosine squared x, again, squared. So in other words, I'm here right now. I've got one minus cosine squared x squared times sine x dx. I can now do the u substitution right now. It's gonna be u equals cosine x, du equals negative sine x dx, and then dx equals du divided by negative sine x. So now plugging back in for that integral, I'm gonna get the integral of quantity, one minus u squared squared times sine x times du over negative sine x. And once again, the signs will cancel. This negative sign right here, I'm gonna pull out in front. So now I just have negative integral of one minus u squared squared du. This integral is not so straightforward. I will have to foil this out to make it a power rule. And that's gonna be negative integral of Foiling this out, it's like one minus u squared times one minus u squared. It's gonna give me one minus two u squared plus u to the fourth 
and that's du, and then I just have to do the power rule a bunch of times. It's going to be negative, parenthesis, u minus 2u cubed over 3 plus u to the fifth over 5, close parenthesis, plus c. And then the final thing I need to do is I need to replace my u with, we said it was cosine x from earlier. So that means the final answer is negative quantity cosine x minus 2 thirds cosine cubed x plus 1 fifth cosine to the fifth x plus c. As you can tell, I wrote the coefficients out in front like this. This is perfectly fine. If you want to, you can even distribute the negative sign to all three terms. Personally, I don't care. So this is a perfectly fine answer. And now we're just going to do one more case. This is going to be the case where both are odd, and we're going to see what we do. So you can take a second to think about it. How am I going to solve this integral? As you can see, they're both odd. So maybe I can break off the sine from this one. Maybe I can break off the cosine from this one. Technically, you can do it either way. As it turns out, breaking off the sine from this one is easier because it's the lower odd degree. Always choose the lowest odd degree. And it's going to look like this. It's going to be sine x times sine squared x times cosine to the fifth x dx. The reason why we would do that is because now we can easily have a path forward with u equals cosine x. And all I need to do is replace that sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x. If I chose the other way around, I would be stuck with a 1 minus sine squared x squared term if I chose to break off the cosine. I wanted to avoid that. That's why you always choose the lowest odd degree to break off. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then it doesn't matter. Just remember my rule lowest odd degree, break it off, the sine or the cosine. So now I've got this, the integral of sine x times one minus cosine squared x times cosine to the fifth x dx. Now I can distribute this to the cosine to give me integral of sine x times cosine to the fifth x minus cosine to the seventh x dx. From here, you probably already know what to do. This integral isn't super challenging. It's basically the same thing we've been doing. So if you want to stop watching the video here, I understand. But for those of you still sticking around, now I got to say u equals cosine x, just cosine x. du is negative sine x dx, and then dx equals du divided by negative sine x. So when I rewrite this integral, it's going to be the integral of sine x times u to the fifth minus u to the seventh, and then dx got replaced with du over negative sine x. Once again, the sine x's will cancel, the negative sign goes out in front, and I have negative integral of u to the fifth minus u to the seventh du. And again, this is just a series of power rules now. So it's going to be negative u to the six over six. I forgot to put this in parentheses, it's fine now. And then minus u to the eighth over eight plus c. And then finally, just plug in u for cosine. The final answer will be negative parentheses cosine to the 6x over 6 minus cosine to the 8th x over 8, close parenthesis, plus c. And if you want to distribute the negative sign, you can. I choose not to. And this is going to do it for all the problems I had today on trig integrals with odd degrees. In the next video, I'll talk about what to do when both degrees are even. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.